Ozzy, 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 Oi. Ozzy is a friend of yours, and he's a friend of mine. G'day kids, Ozzy here. So we've been down to the local fire station. We've got to visit a big truck, learn all about the different parts and the different equipment they use. Now let's sit back and enjoy a good book about firefighters. Now this book is about Aussie animals that are firefighters. And it's called Captain Kangaroo Saves the Day. It's illustrated by Mandy Foote. It's been a corker of a summer, stinking hot and dry. Captain Kangaroo patrols for fires from way up in the sky. In his very own aeroplane. And it's got a name on the side and it says C-K. I think that stands for Captain Kangaroo? I think so. The whole state is a tinderbox. The fireys are ready to go. If the captain spots a fire, they'll be the first to know. Meanwhile, they do lots of drills and keep their truck ship shape. Wombat practices on the pole, so he knows he won't be late. See, over here we've got the firefighters' outfits hung up, ready to go, so they can get dressed really quickly. And they've got their names on the top, so they know who's it's who's. The captain's got a bird's eye view good for spotting smoke. He takes it very seriously. Bushfires are no joke. He sees some scrub ablaze and sends a signal to the crew. The lookouts ring the bell. They know just what to do. Because the captain has written the word fire out of smoke in the sky. And the lookouts can see it really easily. Then they send a message to the other firefighters to send some help so they can put out the fire. The fireys jump into action. They're all ready to go. But the fire's awfully far away and the truck's a little slow. Captain, says the fire chief, we're going to need your chopper. If we don't put it out soon, this fire could be a whopper. Captain Kangaroo fills the chopper from the lake. It's amazing how much water this special craft can take. It sends its big hose down into the water, picks up the water, and then it flies over top of the fire and drops the water on top of the flames to put them out. He dumps the water on the blaze, but the wind is getting stronger. The fire is getting bigger now. The bush won't be there much longer. But who's that here to help racing through the sky? It's the captain's grandpa who taught him how to fly. Old Pa Roo flies a tiger moth he's had since it was new. He's rigged it up with all the gear for fighting fires too. Look, there's Old Pa Roo flying the plane and he's got his name on the side. What a cool looking aircraft. Pa calls through the radio. We'll have this out quick smart. Nice work, Sonny Roo. You've made a ripper start. Pa and the captain take turns dumping their loads, while the chief and his fireys get closer on the road. Pa says, just one more load, then I think we're done. Time to let the ground boys finish off this one. But I can think of one more job for a pair of flying roos. Follow my lead and I'll show you what to do. They each pick up another load and fly a few k's west till they reach a little town even hotter than the rest. It has a dried up water hole till Pa Roo fills it up. The locals are delighted. They can't believe their luck. So this is a dried up water hole and old Pa Roo has picked up some water, flown over and dropped it into the water hole. Look what happens. All the animals come for a swim. That night as the sun's setting, they all gather for a dip, while the captain tells stories 
and the fireys have a kip. They'd be tired after fighting fires all day, wouldn't they? The kids all asked for one last trick, so Pa hops in his plane. He does a loop the loop, just as it starts to rain. The drought has finally broken, and the captain's job is done. Three cheers for the fireys. Good on you, everyone. What a cool book. So awesome to learn about all the different firefighting machines, and so great to see the different Aussie animals working together to put out the fire. And I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. We'll see you again soon on our next video with Aussie. Until then, stay keen. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Aussie, 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 oi. Aussie is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine. G'day kids, Ozzy here. What a super exciting visit that was to the garbage truck. Getting to drive the truck and learn about all the different parts. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Now, let's kick back and enjoy a book together about garbage trucks. This one is called The Garbage Trucks Are Coming Today. And it's about this little boy who just loves garbage trucks. by Susan Taylor. Winston opened his eyes and sat up in bed. He grinned with excitement. The garbage trucks are coming today. That's Winston there. He threw off the covers and jumped out of bed. The garbage trucks are coming today, he shouted. What's that? said Dad, poking his head out of the bathroom. The garbage trucks are coming today, cried Winston. Who's coming? called Winston's mother from the kitchen. The garbage trucks are coming today, Winston shouted again. Winston stood by the window and waited. He stared at the two bins his parents had put out on the curb last night. One was for the garbage. The other was full of paper to be recycled. Today, there were two different bins, which meant two different trucks. Winston's mother put his cereal on the table, but he didn't sit down. His father got out Winston's clothes so he could get dressed, but he stayed by the window, waiting. Winston's baby brother, Sonny, called out for him to play blocks. Ba -da -da. But Winston couldn't play. He was still waiting. Suddenly, a low rumble sounded from down the road. It was getting louder and louder. The garbage trucks are coming today! Winston yelled and ran out of the front door. Winston watched as the big garbage truck rolled up beside the house. A metal robot arm reached out, grabbed the garbage bin and lifted it high up, up, up into the air. Then with a quick toss backwards, all the garbage went flying down, down into the large belly of the garbage truck. Munch, munch, crunch. All empty now, the robot arm dropped the bin back onto the curb. Winston clapped his hands and cheered, hooray! All finished, the garbage truck then rumbled down the road to the next house. And there's Winston, full of excitement. Just loves watching the garbage truck do his thing. Winston opened the gate and ran out to the curb. He carefully wheeled the big empty garbage bin back down the side of the house where it belonged. Thanks, Winston, said Dad, watching from the porch. Now come inside and eat your breakfast, please. Winston smiled and ran up the steps to the front door. 
just as he was about to walk inside, there was another distant rumble from down the end of the road. Winston grinned and spun around. The garbage trucks are coming today! Wow, what an excited little boy Winston is. He got to see the first truck, and then just as he was about to go inside, the second truck came. So he was gonna go out there and watch it again. Do you get as excited as Winston does? I know I did when I was a little boy. Well, I hope you guys had fun reading that book. We'll see you next time on the next video with Ozzy. Until then, stay keen. I hope you enjoyed story time with Ozzy. If you did, make sure you get a grown up to help you hit subscribe. That way, you won't miss out on any of the new videos that come out. And did you happen to find the hidden Ozzy icon in that video? Make sure you look really closely because they're in every single video. And we'll see you again soon. Until then, stay keen. Ozzy is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine. Don't forget to follow Ozzy on our social channels at Ozzy for Kids. Feel free to send us some ideas on what you want to learn about next, what sports you'd like to play, jobs you want Ozzy to feature, vehicles you're fascinated with, or any subjects you'd like to know more about. I'm just as keen as you, so together, let's learn more. And if you've got any friends that you think might like Ozzy, don't forget to tell them too. We'll see you next time, kids. Until then, stay keen.